Hello everyone and welcome to International Pro Wrestling. I am of course Ricky Snyder alongside the twisted genius of professional wrestling, Dean Ash. Oh man, what a show. What a show we have got for you tonight. You lucky people, you are seeing the best wrestling in the world, International Pro Wrestling. A main event of global proportions tonight as IPW World Champion Mark Haskins defends his title against not one, but two challengers. The man that gravity forgot, Pac, and the former champion, super bad Kit Sabian. That is going to be off the charts. You stay tuned with us for the rest of the show tonight. But what we've got coming your way first, just around the corner, it's finally gonna happen. Sticks from Rob Lynch, two of the big heavyweights in Europe coming your way. This is International Pro Wrestling. So here we go then, ladies and gentlemen. We heard about it last week. We've heard from Sticks. We've heard from Rob Lynch. The time for talking is over, Dean Ayers. Oh, it's the big lads battling. Rick Sticks and Rob Lynch. Let's go to an amazing heavyweight contest. The following contest is a singles match set for one fall. Introducing first, from Nottingham, Sticks. Here's my boy, Sticks, A man you know very well indeed, managed him at various times in your career, Dean. One half of the British Tag Team Champions in the FWA with Martin Stone, now known, of course, as Danny Birch in the WWE NXT. Where this man goes, success follows. And here comes his opponent, battle tested Rob Lynch. We know all about Rob Lynch, we've heard the story. It's time for more action from the big man. And introducing his opponent from East London, battle tested Rob Lynch. Of course, Rob Lynch almost became the IPW World Champion last summer. He was denied by Kip Saban cashing in his Battle Royale contract, which made him world champion, not battle testing. Then went out with a shoulder injury. And he's fighting back once more. There's a reason he is in the Monica battle testing. He believes it's his destiny to become IPW world champion, but unfortunately, so too does Sticks. Oh, great move from Styx. Getting the upper hand early on. Oh man, we got two big heavyweights here. Over 36 stone of, wow, of beef in that ring. Just slap Rob Lynch and then gets out of the way. Why would you want to fire at Rob Lynch? That doesn't seem the wisest strategy to me, Dean. Listen, I know this man sticks better than anyone. And one thing he learned from the Twisted Genius is that if you can get inside someone's head, you are halfway there to victory. Big elbow knocks Lynch to one knee. Belly, belly. Oh, way over he goes. What a 
athleticism and strength from battle tested Rob Lynch. Well, you don't need to look at the face of Sticks to see the impact of that move. Hashtag IPW, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to get involved with the conversation on Twitter, let us know what you think. Who's going to win between these two Bayamoffs? And you know that Rob Lynch and Sticks are going to be uh, putting their names, their hats in the ring for our international battle royal coming to Maidstone on March the 24th. That is one of the biggest nights of the year in the IPW calendar because opportunity awaits for whoever comes victorious in there. And what a big boot from Styx. And you say the International Battle Royale team, we heard Styx last week, he said he was coming for the IPW Championship. He said he couldn't care less for Rob Lynch's story of redemption. He was going to put him in the heavyweight house of pain. Absolutely. You know, this, this is wrestling. This is an X factor. We don't care about backstories and sob stories. This is about beating people up and getting opportunities through earning hard-fought victories. I don't agree with that, Dean. Rob Lynch has got a hell of a story. The fact that he has been through the mill and he's been down and out so many times, as he's told us on more than one occasion, and he keeps rising up, he keeps battling back. I think it's an inspiring story. I think people should hear it. Look, we, we've all had bad things happen to us, just we don't keep rattling on about it all the time. Rattling on about it, give me a break. Rob Lynch, of course, former three-time IPW Tag Team Champion. He knows what it is like to hold gold in IPW, and as we've said before, he came so close to being our world champion last year. We have both of these men have been known as tag team specialists in the past, but they're now trying to climb the ranks of the singles division. Nightmare from Sticks, and look at this, leaning all of that weight down on the neck of Rob Lynch. Last week we heard Lynch say that he understands how Sticks feels, because Sticks, of course, he retired and then, well, basically decided he couldn't get rid of the itch to wrestle and he came back from retirement. So he understands what it's like to be out for a long time. Everyone retires and comes back. Exactly, Lynch says that he understands that. He saw Sticks as a bit of a mentor Oh man! A men's determined the business, and what a clothesline! Well, <laughs> he might have said last week he sees as a mentor. Right there, he saw him as a target. And now it's Sticks who's rattled. Shoulder from the top. Charged into the corner, an elementary mistake. I want to get to ringside, I don't want to coach No, him. you can't, you've got to stay here, you've got a job to do. I've still got my manager's licence. Come on, Sticks. Look at Lynch, what an arsenal by Lynch. Oh, oh black catcher. hole slam, Cut that's it. Hatch is left, come on, no, no, oh, no. Come on, Hatch, count faster. This crowd in Canterbury trying to get some energy back into Rob Lynch, get some blood pumping through the veins. Rob Lynch said this place was his home, Dean. He's going to fight for it. You've got to believe it. He wants to be IPW World Champion just as much as Sticks does. Look at that holding on to his opponent still. Got both men go oh. down. And both of get straight back to that feet and go down again. That is the ferocity that is coursing through their veins, Dean. They ran into each other like two trucks. They got straight back to their feet. Oh, man. And the force, the force that they fell down with. I told you we had 36 stone of beef in the ring. And I don't even think the ring can hold it. Chris Hatch has got the count going, if he gets to 10, this one's over, I think they're probably going to make it just in time. Sticks his first to his feet. Into the corner now.
Yeah, he doesn't want the fans counting along with him. Sticks has no time for the fans. Oh, uh -oh. he talked too much. He talked too much, Dean. Buckle ball into the turnbuckle. And there's a spare by Lynch. Taking Sticks clean out of his boots. Two. It's over. Here is your winner, battle tested, Rob Lynch. Rob Lynch said he was going to step up in 2019 and he continues to do just that. What an impressive win against Sticks. Wow, that is a big win. A big win. You know, not everyone gets a clean win over Sticks. Um, yeah, credit to Rob Lynch where it's due. That is a hard fought victory for battle tested Rob Lynch. Rob, Rob Lynch proves to be a man of his word as he continues to step up here in 2019. We need to take a quick commercial break. Stay right here for International Pro Wrestling on the Fight Network. Tonight is, it's important to me now. This is, this is it. Since Undisputed 2 when I lost my championship, I said on that exact day that I was going to get it back. That belt is mine. Now, things have happened in between with Ridgeway. That's not on my mind right now. Right now, on my mind is Mark Haskins, who, as I've said myself, is one of the greatest performers this country's ever produced. But also, Pax in this match another one of the greatest performers that this country has ever seen. But Kip Sabian in this match has just as much right to be there. When I won that IPW World Championship, I took it to new heights. No one thought that I was gonna be the champ that I was, but I proved them wrong. Now my reign was cut short, but tonight I restart that reign. I go from where I left off. Kip Sabian and IPW all won. Without that belt, what am I even doing here? I'm getting it back. Nothing's gonna stop that. Kip Sabian saying there that him and the IPW World Championship are inseparable, they're linked. Is he gonna become a two-time world champion? That remains to be seen. Now, however, we turn our attention to tag team action. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On their way to the ring, the team of Sam Stoker and Lewis Howley, pretty deadly. And their opponents already in the ring, the team of Darius Lockhart and Sugar Junketo. Well, we saw pretty deadly last week coming to the assistance of Little Cadet Joe House of the Anti-Fun Police. But now we get to see them in tag action against Junkerton and Locker. Well, this is going to be a big test for these two youngsters against our international guests, Sugar Duncan and Darius Lockhart. I mean, Darius Lockhart, he's been in IPW a couple of times. We saw him in tag action teaming with Jack Sexsmith and the OJMO, and he was very, very impressive. Sugar Duncan adap ad adapting, adopting his fighting stance. Is, is that what it is? He said that himself. That's an interesting start, so I'm not going to lie. It's not orthodox, I'll give you that. Lewis Howley starting out for pretty deadly. Sugar Duncan for Augusta, Georgia, starting out for his team.
Wow. Oh, Lewis only didn't come here to play. Pretty deadly and pretty serious here. Pretty serious. He's got his hands in his pockets. Here we go. Winding up the train. Oh, well. That's a smart move, if you ask me, from Lewis Howley. Not the most sporting of... Oh, no, no, almost, almost. Does he use the rope, son? That's it. Well done, lad. <laughs> a round of applause for Duncanton. Hands in his kind Hands. of pockets. Hands in... I don't think there's a... It's the closest he can get to pockets. <laughs> on pockets. Goodness me. Hashtag IPW if you want to comment on Sugar Duncan's pockets. Wrestling trunk should have pockets. Think of the weapons you can hide in there. Of course, if the weapons were legal in the matches, that could uh, come in quite handy, but since they're not. Yeah, as long as the referee doesn't see, you know. The old manager spirit kicking in, is it? Yeah, you know, put a little corkscrew in there or something. Some powder. Talcum powder in the eyes. Oh, <laughs> big who, chop. Who needs talcum powder when you've got a chop like that from Darius Lockhart? Howley blocks the impact of that turnbuckle shot. Quite literally putting his body on the line for his tag partner. Oh, Duncan tried the same thing, but... Sam Stoker was one step ahead of him. The former Sammy Smooth. Great tag team action from Pretty Deadly here. And here too, says Peter Higginson. We've got some exciting shows coming your way, ladies and gentlemen. We're in Bethnal Green, London, this Sunday. Get your tickets, get them right now. You have only about 48 hours. It's going to be a hell of a show. We've got MJF, Haskins, Star, Sharp, and many, many more. Get your tickets now. Also, Maidstone, Kent for the annual International Battle Royale on March 24. Get your tickets. They're available at ringsideworld.co.uk. Get them now. Oh, speaking of getting... Sam Stoker just took a ladder from Lockhart. Two only. Only two. Stoker and Howley, I'm sure, will be in that international battle royal. Without a doubt, they're not just going for the IPW Tag Team Championships. Traditionally, of course, the winner of the international battle royal gets that briefcase, guarantees them an IPW World Championship match of their choosing. Anytime, any place. Well, that's how Kip Sabian, of course, got himself the world title. Absolutely, went from number one to win it all. Well, Lockhart trying to get this crowd engaged, but they are solidly behind Pretty Deadly. Another big chop to Stoker. They've got Stoker completely isolated in that corner. Well, that's classic tag team strategy, as we've said before. Oh, beautiful. Driving the knees. Into the back and then jumps. Using the force, full force of his hips. And the Gluteus Maximus. And he's also cutting that ring off, quite literally a physical barrier between Stoker and his tag partner. This is what you have to do to be a successful tag team. Well, we know, we know that Lewis Howley and Sam Stoker, they have form, former IPW tag team champions. They know what they're doing in the ring. They're just currently being outplayed. Speak too soon, because there's the tag to Lewis Howley. 
Bad landing for Dunkerton. Oh, drop kick in the corner, nowhere to go. And Howley's taking them both on. Look at him go. Lewis is absolutely ferocious here on IBW. Canterbury explode for one half of Pretty Deadly. Using the ropes to his advantage to spring back. He's taken them both on. Beautiful! Beautiful by Howley! Has a cover on! Who's the legal man? He's trying to pin both of them! Well, they both can't be legal to be fair, but you know, yeah. he had to make sure he covers both of them. I was going to say he forgot uh -huh. who was legal. I think it's, it's Lockhart, isn't it? Cover your bases and check your aces. Our ref needs to get one of these guys out of here. A veteran manoeuvre by Dunkerton. And a rookie mistake from Howley. Goodness me, what a suplex. Half Tiger, half Dragon of the Light. Oh! oh! How close was that in there? That was split seconds. We are talking split seconds that Stoker just got in the nick of time. And our referee, I think, I think we can safely say our referee Peter Higginson has, has lost law and order in this match. Oh, big collision heads. Blue Thunderbomb. There's that big boot from Hal. He loves hitting that big boot. He hits him square in the chin oh this is not looking good for darius lockhart long way down for lockhart howley over for the cover two pretty deadly get the win and that's a big big victory for lewis howley and sam stoker pretty deadly here are your winners sam stoker and lewis howley pretty Well, this... Wait a minute! Whoa! Wait a minute! From behind! From behind, Team Storm! Andreas Kaur! Two of the Moe Brothers and Johnny Storm! Well, this is revenge for last week, Dean! Well, if you're going to cross Team Storm, you're going to pay the price! You say pay the price, though, Dean. I don't think Pretty Deadly deserve what Johnny Storm and his little band of mates are dishing out here! They came to the assistance of Joe Nelson last week and Team Storm, this is completely unjustified, Dean. I don't know how you could be okay with this. Trying to put out pretty deadly before they come serious contenders. Goodness me, Team Storm dominant, unfortunately so. We'll be back with your main event after this. So Ben Basden's been uh, showing up and running his scrawny little self around, trying to get inside my head, trying to play mind, mind games with me. Me, the anarchist, James Castle. <laughs> it's cute, it's cute. Ben, what you need to understand, my friend, what you need to get inside that thick little skull of yours, all right? You may think you can run around in a world without rules. You may think you can get inside the head of the anarchist. I wrote the book on no rules. I made this world. Ben, I've already beat you once. All right, I've already laid your ass out in the middle of that ring. I mean, you might have come along and stolen another victory from me in that fatal four-way. But what do you really think that means? What, what do you really think, in the grand scheme of things, that means? Mate, I'm on my way up, and you just another stepping stone in my way. So in two weeks' time, we're gonna step in there one more time, me and you, 
and you really, really want to mess about with the anarchists, you want to step into my world, you're welcome. I'm telling you now, when we step in there and we finally put this to bed, finally put you back in your place, I'll show you. I am the agent of chaos. I am the ungovernable force. I am the anarchist, James Castle. James Castle then has laid down the challenge to Ben Buzz and he says he wrote the book of no rules. Are we going to see it? Is it going to be Basden versus Castle? That I don't know. What I do know is it's main event, Dean, and oh my goodness, Connie oh, Holly, what man. a main event. This is the main event to end all main events. British wrestlers are becoming stars all over the world, and we have got three of the very best. Three men with global reputations will be stepping into the ring in just one moment. We have our world champion, the only the, the second man to hold that title three times, Mark Haskins. He is defending against not one, but two world-class British wrestlers. He has got the man that gravity forgot, Pac, returning to IPW for the first time in eight years. And he has got the former champion, super bad, Kip Sabian, who desperately wants to be reunited with that championship. He wants to be the world champion again. There's only one way for him to win, and that is to get that title off of Haskins. Will it happen? There's only one way to find out. Let's go to Slick Lombardo for our main event. The following contest is a triple threat match and it is for the IPW World Heavyweight Championship! Introducing first... Haskins and Pack are two of the greats of the ring, but he belongs in the match also. He said he wants that world championship. Him and the title are inseparable, and no one is going to stop him from reclaiming the title here, right now, in this broadcasting house. Well, Haskins and Pack have made their reputations internationally. This man is making that reputation 2018 was his breakout year in the UK 2019 will be his breakout year across the world just need to look into the eyes of the champ. Anticipates his building here in Canterbury! And with very, very good reason! The return after eight years of one of the greatest aerial wrestlers the world has ever seen. Making his way to the ring, the third and final competitor in this match from Newcastle upon Tyne, Pat! An outstanding D-Mass is 
standing ovation for the homecoming of Pat YBW. And rightly so. Look at this, everyone on their feet. It's the whole audience, Gina. The whole audience has come. And it's fabulous. Hell, get on your it's feet, Slatter. Get on Hall. your feet and applaud this man. Now, Pacquiao has one down his hands. He'd love to leave Canterbury with two. Indeed, that is the Open the Dream Gate Championship. The top singles belt in Dragon Gate, the promotion that Pac now calls home. And talking of Dragon Gate, that's the promotion that Mark Haskins knows very well. These two, they teamed up many years ago in Dragon Gate. And then their careers went in separate directions. And now their paths collide again. These two men know each other very well. Whereas this is, I believe, the first ever meeting of Pat and Kip Sabian. It may not be the last, but the first one is happening right here in IPW. So here we have it. I posed the question on Twitter a little bit ago. The King, the Don, and the Bastard Pack. Who is going to win? Who is going to walk out the IPW World Champion? Well, Pat looks like he's showing no respect, but you wonder, see. In the mind of that man, what he is thinking, he knows all about Haskins. He is going to find out about Sabian. I'll tell you what, Dean, it's almost like they're all looking to a mirror, isn't it? There is a little bit of each of them. Oh, yeah. You're not going to get a fist bump out of Pat. There's a little bit of a reflection in each of them. He hates everyone. I have a lot of time for him. Well, that was smart by Haskins isolating. Kip Say making this a one-on-one -on -one contest as opposed to a triple threat for the moment. Absolutely. Increases his odds of retaining. And we've seen oh. some real battles between Sabian and Haskins, of course, in 2018 and 2019. Looks the same way. This is the thing you've got to bear in mind when you've got a three-way match. You've essentially got to eliminate two opponents at once. You've got to either get one of them out of the ring or wipe one of them out to the point that you could pin them, but then pin the other guy. It's, it's a, a minefield. And all three of them are three of the quickest wrestlers we've ever seen. Yep. So best of luck trying to get someone down for a free count here. These are three of the best British wrestlers out there right now. And Pack is going to fly. No, he's not. Haskins grabs him by the leg. Great move from Haskins. Well, that's knowing your opponent, Dean, because he knew that Pack was probably going to try something like that in that position. And Haskins is using it to try and take out one of his two opponents. A ringside seat for both of these guys. Oh, takes Pack out with one knee and takes out Superbot oh. with the other. We'll be right. right back after this, ladies and gentlemen. Stay right with us. This match continues. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This World Championship Triple Threat match continues. It's Haskins and Sabian in the ring. Pack nowhere to be seen. Um, Haskins has been like an animal 
in the commercial break. He's been like an animal in the ring right now. He's taken over on Kip Sabian, who may have a problem with his nose right now. Has he broken that nose? Look at the eyes of Haskins. Haskins has gone feral here, Dean. He has. And if, if Sabian's broken that nose, that's really going to affect his breathing. You can't breathe through your nose, otherwise it swells the nose up, it swells the eyes up. He's going to have to breathe through his mouth uh -oh. for the rest oh of this. My. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness! What an ovation! What an ovation by Mark Haskins! That's over, kill all right! Well, I said you had to try and beat two men at once in a three-way. Haskins is taking me literally. Look at this. Half camel clutch, half crab. He's like a mad scientist, is Mark Haskins. Creating new organisms everywhere. Well, I said he was animalistic. He's got crabs and camels in there. My goodness me. And a big kick caves in that chest of pack. Haskins and Pack, both on the outside of the ring. Kip Sabin's charging! Top oh. on the top, wiping out both Haskins and Pack. Sabin has a chance here. And if you want to know how much the IPW world title means to that man on your screen, Kip Sabian, look at that. He just threw himself at both opponents to try and capture this title. And you notice, once again, it's Haskins and Sabian. Once again, Sabian made that happen. I think he wants to pin Haskins for it, you know. He wants the revenge. And now it's Sabian taking over. Oh! Got all three men on their shoulders down there. <laughs> A double pin again. And well, this is innovative offense, trying to beat both men at once. This crowd here in Canterbury appreciating what they are seeing. You are watching IPW. This is indeed awesome. This is British wrestling at its best. And we thank you for joining us wherever in the world you may be. Hashtag IPW, let us know where you are for this exciting once in a lifetime encounter. Haskins trying to superplex him off the top. Indeed, you say once in a lifetime, we may never see these three men in a ring again. Pack and Haskins carrying each other, blow for blow, move for move, they know each other so well. But here comes the unknown fact of a pack. And he's got the unknown fact on his shoulders! Standing shooting star press! Is this the moment? No! Is this the moment we crown a new world champion? And look at Pack, he thought he had him there! He might have heard of Kip Sabian, but he's not been in the ring with him. Kip Sabian is as resilient as they come. Pack is going up top. He's looking maybe for that black arrow. No, Haskins. Haskins pulls Sabian out the way. Pack lands on his feet. He's going for, he's going for the shot here, Dean. He's going for the shot here, the title. In the, the line. in the middle of the ring, right on that IPW logo. That's where you know you are, slap bang in the middle of the ring and Pack has got to use every fibre in that body of his to crawl over. No, thankfully for him, Sabian rescues him. And the soldier shoulder roll from Haskins. Oh! He sits out, he sits out, he takes Pack down with him. One, two, no! No, I thought that was it. What a main event we are seeing here tonight in IPW, three of the very best that this country has ever produced. They say fight forever, they might hear this right, you know, Dean. They just might. Who is going to be able to get the decisive blow? What is it going to take to put any of these three men down? It's going to take something special.
Haskins is poised, Haskins is the one that's fake. Look at him stalking his prey. It's going to take something special or it's going to take something unexpected. That is the key to victory here. Well, Haskins trying to take down Saban and pack by himself. He's turning this into a handicap match in which he is getting the better of. Look at the fire of the world champion here in Canterbury. Does that look like a man who's ready to give up his title? I don't think so. Absolutely not. German suplex on the bounce. Re Love a shot by Pack. Release him all in back and look at the effect, the devastating effect that has had on Kip Sabian. All three men are down in this contest to the side. Who is going to be the IBW World Champion? And as you quite rightly said, Dean, three of the greatest that have ever been produced from these shores. And they have spent each other's energy to the point where all three are currently down. You see those fingers of Pat taped up where he dislocated a finger in the most gruesome fashion over in Ireland. Look at this, they're on their knees, slugging it out. It's not toe to toe, it's knee to knee and now now it's toe to toe, they're back up on a vertical base for how long, I don't know. Look at Sabian, look at Superman! Climbing to the top of the mountain once more, possibly here at IPW! Big left hand from Haskins. Oh, Pat goes all the way and he goes all the way down! Bad landing, that could tweak a knee easily. Springboard Tornado DDT, and he's got him, he held on to him! What a move by Sabian! Beautiful execution! But... Oh, oh. God, almost got him the title! And did you see in the background there, Pack could not get back in the ring in time. He was hoping, he was praying that Haskins kicked out. And his prayers were answered, and this match continues. Oh, oh, oh man! You could feel that knee from here, Ricky. I tell you what, Sabian knows it was Haskins. It was Haskins that took the time away from him. I've said it once, I'll say it again. I think he wants to pin Haskins. He wants to pin the champion of IPW. And look at this. Oh, this is personal for Kip Sabian. He wants to give a receipt to Mark Haskins on the way. From Haskins with left on the world champion. Oh! And Pack uses Sabian as a springboard. Oh. And now the man that gravity forgot will fly. Oh, he hit the roof on the way, but he's still landed on his feet. Incredible stuff from Pack. And he's got him set up for the black arrow. Here we go. 450 splash. Haskins saves Haskins the day! The Haskins saves his title in the nick of time! What a match we are seeing here! And back and forth, back and forth! Haskins are back, fighting for glory! Fighting for gold, fighting for immortality here with International Pro Wrestling! Goes for the Made in England, pack his wives to it! Oh, those kicks from Pat, nobody hits them sweeter or sharper! And now it's Haskins in the drop zone. Sabian sensing the danger. Haskins has rolled out of the ring. He's going, he's going to Jeffrey Hallows. He's going to try to hook him to Jeffrey Hallows. He's is, got him. This is Sabian's chance. This is his chance to become the world champion again. Jeffrey Hallows, he's got it, Dean. Get Sabian's got it there. One, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Chris Ridgway. Hold on a minute, what's Ridgway doing here? Chris Ridgway, not for the first time, has stopped Kip Sabian becoming world champion of IBW. Now we saw these guys brawl a few weeks ago, it took the whole locker room to pull them apart. Oh, 
Haskins, made it England! He's got the made it England! One, two, Haskins retains! Haskins retains, what a match! Here is your winner, and still, IPW World Heavyweight Champion, Overkill, Mark Haskins! Well, during this match, I said something unexpected would be the key to victory. Never in a million years did I expect that unexpected factor to be Chris Ridgeway interfering. Kip Shane has been screwed once more by IPW goal. I cannot believe this thing I have. But let's not take away from one of the greatest matches in IPW history. And they are rightly standing, Dean, standing ovations all around the Westgate Hall for the world champion and his challengers. Haskins retains and now he's going to fight against hands on David Starr. That'll be next week. Who is going to be champion of IPW? Be back here next week.